Good evening. Um, tonight I thought I would do another live piano practice because I just printed some new sheets, some new music sheets. I'm probably not going to play the whole thing of everything uh, just because I have a lot of sheets I want to look at. So let's go ahead and get started with my normal warm-up tune, the metronome exercise. But first, let me switch my camera. All right, there we go. Yeah, both cameras are showing up now. Let's begin. Okay, just a short one for metronome today because I have a lot of notes to get through. But before we get into the new stuff, let's go ahead and play my normal warm-up song, Carol of the Bells. And now we're in November, so I'm not that iffy on Christmas music right now. So let's do Carol of the Bells as, the, as my warm-up. <laughs> Wow, a bit sloppier than I usually do, but that's okay. It's just the warm up. Let's move on. So for the first new piece that I printed for today, we're going to do Nerevar Rising, the, the theme song from Morrowind. This, it'll be a big deal for the channel if I can learn this one because um, Morrowind is one of my main games. Let me just see. Uh, Funny story about this theme, it was written to represent a specific character from the Morrowind backstory, but um, the theme became so well known and so popular, it was incorporated into all the other Elder Scrolls theme songs to follow, even though none of the other songs have anything to do with the Nerevar or the Nerevarine character. Let me just, 
let me just run through. I'll run through each hand a little bit separately, I think. Man, I hate ledger lines. You know, I'm going to start this an octave down, I think. I think it's working better at this octave. But I still got to read the ledger lines, though, so I can play it. So, and then in this hand, it's just block chords for this iteration. So it's, uh, You know what? Let's spice this up a bit, shall we? Okay, that's... Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, I think I'm going to leave that one there for right now. It's started to come together towards the end. Switch back to piano here. Let's see what's next. I kind of put these, I kind of printed these pages in a random order. And I also, I also put in a couple of, I also put in a couple of songs for my standard practice set because I wanted to, uh, there's a few things I need to work on from there. The next thing I'm going to work on is a song called Deliver Us from Prince of Egypt. And this one looks complicated, so I'm probably not going to do too much on this one today. How are we on time? 13 minutes in. Oh yeah, I like this riff. I like the Prince of Egypt riff. And then there's a little... It goes... Uh, Something like that. All right. Oh, wow. This is very rhythmic. I may, I, you know what? Let's play the riff one more time and then we will uh, move on to the next thing. I need, I, I want to practice this little off camera before I make a fool of myself on camera. Something like that. And I'll come back to Prince of Egypt another night after I've worked a little bit off camera. Okay. Looks like I have, oh, Rondo a la Turca, a Mozart class, piano classic. This one also looks complicated, but not as much as Deliver Us. Let me see. Another one with a lot of ledger lines. Actually, this one doesn't look too bad. What the? Every time she cooks, that alarm goes off. Please hold. All right, we should be fine now. I think the alarm went off. Sorry about that. Uh, let's try that again. And I'm way under tempo right now. Okay, and then there's the B section.
And while the right hand's doing all that, we have the left hand going, oh shoot, how'd this go? Okay, that's the first four measures. I'm going to need to practice this off camera, it looks like. But let's run the left hand a little bit. So that's what the left hand is for the, for that first part, and then it goes. sound really good when you put those two parts together but this is really a first look so I'm okay moving on at this point I don't want to go too much over an hour and I have like I've printed something like a dozen of these things plus I have other songs I want to work on from the original stack as well okay lots of sharps in this one we're gonna look at the uh, Star Trek Voyager theme because hey Star Trek so it starts off Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right, so I actually played the first couple measures incorrectly. There we go. I'm just going to play a little of the melody and then I'll look at the space line. Same deal as usual with the first look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's coming together already. Oh no, I played that bit wrong. And then it goes. What 
the heck? <laughs> ah, what's this now? No. You know what? Let's look at the left hand for that first part, and we'll do a look at the right part, hand part in the, later on. So it looks like... So it looks... Wait a minute. That's supposed to be C and F, right? I think. So it's... That's... And then it and then we start doing stuff. My hand does not spread that far. Yeah, I'm going to work on this one off. Sorry, I know I'm skipping through a lot, but that's the point of a first look, is not to overstrain yourself. Figure out what you want to learn to play, what you want to come together. Maybe one of these pieces will get through the whole thing. Maybe. I did say we probably wouldn't be getting through the whole thing on anything. I'm going to stay in strings for this one. You'll see why in a moment. All right, so over here, this one starts in the left hand. It's got a little bit of a bass line going. Let me see if I can puzzle this together real quick. Oh no, I missed I missed a new chord somewhere. All right, so it does stay in that bottom bass line until it comes up to the top. And now it's starting in the, all right, what's going on over here? We're a bit late for Halloween, I do apologize, but... And then it goes again. Mm -hmm. 
So here, if we start here with a chord. Okay, that last measure is the easiest one. That's not usually the case. But then it goes, now we're switching up. We got through one repetition of the main theme. And it's supposed to go slow to fast, so it's okay that I was under tempo there. And then at the end, it's like, And then it gets even faster than that, but I'm not here to break I'm not I'm not here to break myself tonight. I gotta do these piano practices more often. I'm having a lot of fun. Even if I even if I'm not doing so well tonight, I'm still having a lot of fun. Jupiter. Now this is a theme I've uh, noodled on back in college, so this one shouldn't be so uh this one I should be able to get through, barring any unforeseen circumstances. This is the Jupiter theme. Um, there was a composer named Gustav Holst. He did a well-known suite called The Planets. And in the middle of the Jupiter movement, there's a theme that was la later taken as the melody for a, for a church hymn. And here is that uh, hymn theme from the middle of Jupiter. Let your lines again.
And then, all right, left hand doesn't look like it's doing anything too complex. So let's go ahead and see if I can put it together. And this is a slow theme anyway, so I won't be too far under tempo. And I see I stay in strings, but it works for this piece. That's not right. And if this was actual Jupiter, it would cut off on that, on that, um, it would cut off on the suspenseful note here and not resolve and cut back into the rest of Jupiter. But instead, this is the hymn version, so we are going to resolve the chord here. So again, the last measure. I like that chord. Yeah, Jupiter. Jupiter could be used in conjunction with Carol LaBelle's as a warm up piece. There's nothing terribly complicated, and we managed to get through it. And I'm still making good time. Okay. I think... Do I want to go back to piano? Do I want to stay in strings? Or do I want to... Mm. Let's see. Let's see how this sounds real quick. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, that sound is too quiet. Yeah, no, we're not doing that sound. We'll do a full song in that sound later on, on a different stream. Yeah, I think we'll go back to, we'll, we'll stay in strings for right now, I think. This is, of course, Chariots of Fire. One of the catchiest tunes known to man. Okay, what chord is that? All right, and so there's a repeat bar, but I, I kind of want to go on and just see everything that this hand does real quick. Oh, chords and melody right here. So it's... My hand cannot make that chord, so I'm just going to do the simplified version of the chord. Okay, that's pretty, but um, it looks like it does that again, and then we go back into the main melody for the closeout. So I think what we're going to do here is I'm going to look at the left and maybe look at the A theme, putting everything together if I can. So it's, uh, all right. Where, where the strings makes the left the left hand bit sound a little muddy, and I don't remember how to use the split keyboard feature on here, but I don't think it gives me all the notes I need for the right hand. So let me go ahead and switch back to piano for the rest of this. Is this is this? Uh, I'm trying to figure out if this is a pedal piece or not. Oh, I see what the left hand is doing. It's trying to simulate both the little rhythmic bit, bit that goes on, plus the little timpani motif as well. So it's doing this. And actually, do we have a timpani on here? I wish I had one of those mixing machines, because then we could get the timpani and we could really make it sound good, but... Here we go. We would have to take it up a uh, an octave, I think. Yeah, we definitely can't do the rhythmic bit on timpani, but it goes. All right, I think we'll get, so the timpani bit goes a bit like,
Ba da 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 da. Ba da 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 da. Ba da 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 da. -da. Something like that. Enough fooling around. Let's go back to our piano. And I'm not good at putting hands together. That's one of my weaknesses. I always hiccup, up, but let's see. Oh, crud. It's triplets over this regular eighth note note. I'll have to work on that off camera. But yeah, this started to come together nicely. It's Let's at least let let's at least let me practice that middle part again. Let's see, does the timpani do any no, it's just the standard C's and F's all the way through them. No, actually it's not. So actually when we get to the middle, instead of going this, when we get to the B section where it's a it goes uh ba da 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 so it actually gets some action going on. So on timpani, that bit, the B section sounds like, oh, I should probably memorize the, yeah, on timpani, the B section sounds like this. So you got your thing going for the A section. So on and so forth. But then when you get to the B section, it's... Da, 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 da. So so when you get to the B section, it's ba, ba, da, 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 ba, da, 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 ba, da, 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 ba, da, 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 something like that. So yeah, the timpani actually gets a little bit uh, of action in the B section. So just running that B section again, just because I didn't do it plainly the first time. So we end on this chord. Oh, and this part sounds really good in the strings. So let's just run the whole A to B one more time again, just in the melody section. Taking all repeats this time, because we're doing a run. I like that chord right there. And then we get to the fancy stuff.
I lost my place. Sorry about that. I like how it keeps going back to that board. I I think we're gonna leave it there for tonight. We made some good progress on that one. That triplet of Wraith notes is gonna kill me to get it right though. I better work that off camera. Let's see, Zelda. In theory, this one shouldn't be too difficult. It's just lock chords in the left, but. Wow. And this one has a repeat, but no end bar. So I think it's meant to repeat on and on and on forever. Let's see what the left hand is doing. All right, that's the four intro bars which I'm not even going to try to piece together because that whole melody is triplets. And then we go for the actual section. All right, so pretty much the same four measures, at least right here. No, it's not. It does this. That's not, I like this progression. so on and so forth. So when I actually can figure out, it, when I can get it to the point where I can put the right hand and left hand together, that's going to sound nice. We're coming up on an hour and I still have a few things left to go. I'm going to stay in strings for this one. We're going to a classic Russian composer now named Tchaikovsky. He did a Christmas ba themed ballet called The Nutcracker. And here is a little excerpt, if, wow, triplets again, 
but at least this place where they do triplets, it's in both hands. Let me see. All right, again, because I'm I fudged a note there. Again. Let's see, is this a one pager? Ah, yeah. It looked incomplete. There's a really nice glissando in the actual orchestra version of this. And then it goes again. Yeah, this part I'm still. Hmm. It looks like there's, for this middle part, there's an interplay between right hand and left hand, so, but then it goes back to that same theme. So the left hand is doing Oh wait. The left hand is over in trouble territory for the first line. Wow. Okay. Uh I'm actually going to play it an octave down just so that I can actually have room for my hands. I didn't play that right, did I? Maybe it is meant to be played up. Okay, let's see. Am I just black? What am I doing? There we go. And then it's still wearing. I think I lost a measure. No, I wasn't holding those notes long enough. That's what the problem was. So it was. Thank you. 
just those first couple lines. So we've got... There it is. That didn't sound right, but let's go on. And then it goes on to the B section, which is a task for another day. But we got through the first part. We're over an hour now, so. And I still have several more of these tunes to get through. Ooh, good one. And this one looks like it's a relatively simple bass line. This is a song called Reigns of Castamere from Game of Thrones. Um, my regular, my original rehearsal stack does have the Game of Thrones theme. So if I can get both of them good, I may even put together a little medley. But not tonight. I have to learn Reigns of Castamere first. Reigns of Casimir is a very sad but very catchy song. If you knew the words, they would make you cry, unless you don't have a heart. Thank you. 
And so the left hand is doing, hold on, time check. I still got an hour, up to an hour. I'm up. like that chord there. Oof. So now it's doing something different. I'm going to leave it there, but that was starting to come together. We're going to do more of this on stream. I'm going back to piano for this one. Now, this is a song that isn't from the new stack. It's from the original stack, but I keep I keep telling uh, my niece, Shana, that I'm going to learn this song because it's one of her favorite songs. Elsa is her favorite Disney character. And I have no excuse for having put it off so long. So let's see how far I can get today. And this opening part I've done before, but I haven't played all the way through. Oh, no, that's wrong. Let's try that again. This is Let It Go.
that's not right. Oh man, I like those chords right there. And then it goes like this. What's going on here? Oh, I see what's going on here. What note is that? And I'm in the wrong chord. Oh. Oh, yeah. Did the, let me try that line again. No, it's. I'm going to do this without the ledger octaves right now. I'm going to have to work on that rhythmic part. We got the first few measures of the song. So. Oh boy. This is another one from the old stack I wanted to work on. Duel of the Fates. We're going back into strings for the next two. Because when I use my regular piano, I don't get to do cool instrument sounds. So when I practice with the electronic like I'm on tonight, I'll do the instrument sounds where I feel appropriate. it's appropriate. So this one is Duel of the Fates from Star Wars. We're not going to play the whole thing. We're just going to play bit, bits and pieces. So it starts off... No, no, no. You want to bend my finger again? Okay. 
don't think that's right, but my finger doesn't bend that way. Just skip ahead to the theme. So it goes, uh... And there's a little asinato that goes on through the whole thing. So it's... And then there's little rhythmic bits. And then it goes into this theme up here, which goes. So it goes uh, with the rhythmic bits. Uh, it goes on like that, and it's very intense and epic, and you have to imagine it being played fast, and people die in that scene. It's the big battle music from the Star Wars prequels, and one of these days I'm going to learn to play it properly. So now we're going to look at another piece from my original stack. We're going to look at Enya's Orinoco Flow, which is kind of a relaxing song, and it sounds good in strings, but i um, probably not going to play the whole thing again. So it's uh, the opening part goes. So that goes. Something like that for the intro. And then the, the tune goes... And he's my favorite Celtic style singer. She was in Lord of the Rings, amongst other things. And I have no idea what this left hand is doing, but it's like on the off notes. My hand does not stretch that far. Let me see. All right. 
yeah, definitely not happening tonight. And then there's the middle section. It does the goes back and then it does uh Ah, and here's another little thing it does. going to leave it there for today just because uh, we've been going an hour and a half. We haven't even gotten to my closer yet. I always finish with the same song to close. I'm going to stay in strings for theme from Schindler's List. Couldn't do justice to the last John Williams I had on this pile for today. Maybe this one we can do a little better. And I still have two songs after this one. Okay, yeah, I better, I better step it up. So, uh, so be it. I'm gonna try to do this. But, oh, I got confused. I thought this was the next song. That's why it didn't sound right to me. No, that sounded perfectly good. Well, not perfect, but good enough. Good enough for a first read. So let's start over. This is Schindler's List. And I'm I'm trying to hold hands together. At the same time. Let me just do the melody for tonight. tonight. Sad tune it is. Sounds so much different from anything else uh, John Williams has ever written.
Left hand doesn't look too hard. This is one I should be able to put together in a few practices. gonna leave this one there yeah I better I better move on because I still got two songs left now this gonna play a little song called you raise me up that's been covered by everyone but the Josh Groban version is the one that made me familiar with the song you raise me up is a uh, Probably as close as you'll see me get to playing church music. I'll stay in strings. Hmm. All right. And then an instrument switch in the middle of the song because it does that. Let's see how the sound is settled. And a little bit of the melody over here. We got through the intro at least. I'm gonna go back to strings just because we're hitting. And I'll start an octave down.
love this song. Yeah, this song, this song is going to sound really nice when I get it together. I'm tempted to stay in strings. I've never actually done this last song in strings. And now we're on to my traditional closer. This is the moment. Probably not doing as much on this as I usually do. We've gone over an hour and a half already. I'll do a little bit. Let's let's see here. Let's see how this sounds in strings for today, since I've done pretty much everything in strings. Yeah, this, this song sounds pretty good in strings. Mulligan. I'm trying it with the left hand because I rarely do that with this song. Mm -hmm. 
All right, skip ahead. Where's that key change I really like? We're going to play the key change. All right, we'll skip ahead a few bars. I'm not playing the key change yet. There's a little passage later on that goes. So let's skip ahead a little bit. We're going to play this little passage starting right here. I just want to play that little bit there because I like how it goes. The uh, this doing, and then it goes. Did I? Uh, so it goes. I like how that chord turns into that. All right, where's the key change? So there's a coda. Ah, there's the key change. So a couple measures before the key change, we're doing this little wonderful thing. think this is where the transition is. So we're doing this wonderful little thing. Sorry to skip, but it's late.
So, let me play that section again. And yeah, and then it goes on straight on to the end from there. But that's a good place to wrap it for tonight. Sorry I skipped around so much in this of the moment, but I am getting tired. I've gone a long time tonight. Um, I didn't really end on the finale, so I'll leave you with a little bit of the Olympian theme I was showing off last time. Mm And that's enough of that. So have a good night, everyone. Let me see if there's somebody to raid. Let me go over to Twitch and see if there's anyone to raid tonight. We'll try rating Presdy again. She ended show right after I rated her last time, but we'll try her again. Maybe she's having a better night. Well, you know what? Joe plays violin. She plays game music. We'll rate her tonight. Let me, uh, how do I do this song? Oh, I got to have my Twitch open. Hold on. All right, guys, please pardon me a minute. I'm, I'm setting up a raid. But I hope you enjoyed my uh, piano tonight. I know I skipped around a lot. But I can only get better with practice, so it was fun. I had fun tonight. All right, so we're going to raid Joe Plays Violin and see what happens. All right, the radio is set up. Have a good night, everyone. I'll be back with more streams later this week, probably. All right, have a good night.